Sam Pinder can't wait to see Sevens go next level from next weekend. For 13 years the ex-Scotland scrum half was involved in the Hong Kong event, the last eight as tournament director. But his latest brief as the World Rugby General Manager of Sevens is now about chasing the sun in eight iconic locations. Starting across two days in Dubai from next Saturday and then doing it all again the following weekend in Cape Town. A three day event in Madrid from May 31 will be the tour's final destination. The Spanish capital chosen as the location for the grand final that will crown the HSBC SVNS Series champions just weeks out from rugby's short format code getting to strut its stuff in late July at the Stade de France at Paris 2024 its third Olympic Games since its Rio 2016 inclusion add to the mix the addition of Michael Hooper, one of Australia's most capped 15s players, and the potential inclusion of France's Antoine Dupont. The newly reimagined circuit featuring 24 teams, a dozen in each of the men's and women's sections who will get equal participation fees for the first time, is primed to thrill. A consultation process involving players, Old Circuit Tournament hosts, player welfare reps and fans helped to formulate the blueprint behind the shake-up, and a unique festival of sport, music, food. Fitness and immersive experiences is now set to be unveiled in the UAE, Pinder was like a kid on Christmas Eve when Rugby Pass caught up with him on Zoom across the time zones from Auckland ahead of. His long-haul trip to Dubai, enthusiastically speaking about the rugby that he loves which this season comes with so much more. It's an exciting time, he enthused. The relaunch of the HSBC SVNS has certainly had a lot of workload and effort behind it to get to this point and the whole team is excited to see it kick off in Dubai and then move down to Cape Town. A week later. There is a hugely positive feel in and around the women's inclusion. It levels the playing field, there is an equality element in there where all teams are getting paid the same. They are on the same platform and this is something World Rugby is hugely passionate and dedicated to, driving the women's game. And this gives it a platform to push the women's game further so that is a fantastic opportunity.